Hey guys, I'm finally home and look what I have to unwrap. Whoa, I'm gonna obviously do that in a separate video as always. Why isn't this focusing? Okay, so this morning I'm off to the bank to sign some paperwork for my loan, etc. So that's a little house update for you guys. So we have to do that and then the builder's inspection is actually today being done at the house in Perth. Um, so obviously the um, travel agent has to be there to hand over the, like op open the door for the guy to inspect the house. Basically what he's doing is just making sure everything works, all the plumbing, air con, he'll check in the roof um, and also in the walls and any signs of like termites or anything like that. So then he'll do up a report and say it's all good. And then once we get that back, then after all this paperwork's done with the bank, we get the finance and then we all we have to do is just transfer it over to the seller. I think I've got to sign a few more documents. And then he gives, well, Peter the keys because I'm here um, working for the next couple of weeks because I'm going to be a very, very busy gal with formals. Um, I'll be doing salon vlogs for those that have eagerly asked. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go do that now with mum. Also, my freaking car won't start. I don't know if the battery's dead. So mum's <laughs> coming with her boyfriend um, with jumper leads to see if we can jump start my car. Or it might be a fault with the battery of my key because my car, the cash car, is um, keyless. So all you have to do is press a button when you get inside to start the engine. And sometimes that plays up and it's so annoying. It just says key fault, but... None of the lights turn on in my car, so we're thinking it might be the battery that needs to be changed. Anyways, we're doing that. In regards to eating, I jumped on my scales, my Weight Watchers ones, and before I left to Bali, I was 65.7, and I've only gained two kilos. I'm 67.4. After like five weeks, I know the two weeks that I was in Bali, I was not keto, but I was still watching what I ate and wasn't overeating. Then when I got back to Perth, I was still exercising five times a week, but I was sort of doing lazy keto slash I did have some non-keto meals when I was in Perth. So I think that's pretty good. Two kilos. I can sort of tell in my body, just on my clothes, they're just a little bit more snug than usual, but overall, like... I'm just gonna show you guys how freaking easy it is just to get off that extra little bit of holiday weight just by following keto, 100%. Like that is just how I'm gonna do it, how it's done. Um, so yeah, I will obviously share my results. Um, I've contacted JRF and they're gonna put me on another plan. Um, they're gonna do, I wanna do like a little shred plan but not like too excessive so I won't be in much of a calorie deficit because I'm not really like in a rush to lose those two kilos or well, I probably want to lose four let's be real but I'm not in any rush um, I do want to start building muscle as well so I want to um, start going to good life on my own even though it's going to be scary but um yeah and I just want to do some weight training um, and still do f45 like two to three times a week for cardio um, so yeah, that's my little update. I have chosen to do a 20 hour fast today. So I last ate at, I think it was like 7 PM. I just re I just, I forgot. I had like frozen meals in the freezer from before I left. I just had some like keto spaghetti bolognese. Um, but I need to go grocery shopping, but I might not do that until, Later on tonight, I'm not quite sure because I still have frozen meals from like before I left. Okay, mum's here. Um, hello? Here. Okay, I'll be down in a sec. Okay, okay bye. Bye. All right, I'm gonna go down and meet them at my car. Let's hope it starts because that would be so annoying. Um, what else do I have? Nothing really. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, fast for as long as I can. Even if it's over 20 hours, I don't feel hungry at all. I just had a black coffee. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to finish at 3 p.m. today, but I think I can push through until then because yeah, I'm not that hungry. Um, so yeah, I will chat to you guys later. 
Okay, so I just filmed my PO box unboxing. <laughs> this is the aftermath. I'm gonna keep some of these that were inside the packaging for when I pack, like my glasses and just like fragile stuff, so that's good. And then we've got this, I mean. Yep. That's pretty much my life. I also got a Too Faced Lip Injections gloss and I put it on like mid video and like what? My lips are massive. They did not look like this before. I think what makes it look big is they make your lips like a deeper color because they've got some sort of chemical in there to make it stingy. So yeah, look at my lips. Whoa. Love. Um, Update on my car, couldn't start this morning, so it has to be towed to the Nissan dealership and they can't actually work on it until Tuesday. It's now Friday, which is super frustrating. Um, so I'm just going to have to Uber it everywhere or use my mum's car if she's not using it. Um, I haven't eaten today. I just made my Before You Speak coffee with the creamer. Um, so that should be fine. I'll keep myself busy. I am starting to get a little bit hungry now. It's around this time of the day when I'm fasting that I feel a bit peckish. And then I, I swear it's like after I have like a coffee and I'm like, okay, I can eat now. Um, but I'll try and put it off for as long as I can. Try and, my goal is three o'clock. What's the time now? 12. So I've got three hours. But then what's a bet? It comes three o'clock and I'm not even hungry. Like, what is the bet? It's always like that. It's always, like, so hard when you're just about to end. And then when you end your fast, it's like, oh, I'm not even hungry now. But, yeah, I'm going to go and sort all of this stuff out. Keep some of the boxes to recycle so I can use it to pack my stuff to take to Perth. Recycle some boxes. And I'm glad I could keep some um, bubble wrap and some, like, paper so I can put them in if I want to take some like glasses or something fragile I can just wrap them up with it so I don't have to buy some more which is great um what else do I have to I can't believe how like plump my lip like I feel like I just got them done just then like just from that lip injections gloss how crazy is that um so yeah I also got the coconut wraps from iHerb I'll show you guys because I'll probably make a uh, chicken wrap for dinner um, so I'll show you guys and let you know how that tastes. But yeah, I'll update you guys later on. That is the aftermath of unboxing everything. <sighs> Mum's going to have to come take me because that's going to take like 10 trips. I have also started to organize my makeup. As I said, oh, actually, no, I didn't say it in this vlog. I said it in my video. I'm going to donate to the women's shelter somewhere here on the Gold Coast. So I've just put... Um, aside some stuff that I that are like new or like just swatched or that I haven't like even used or won't ever get around to using in some of these um, boxes and then I'll do a separate giveaway as well for other products and so far I'm just packing some makeup that I want to take with me mainly all of my new stuff um, so yeah these are all the palettes so far that I want to take just all my ABH ones Huda Beauty like foundation primers, Laura Mercier, all of that stuff. Um, I still have all of this to sort out. Like, oh my God. I'm probably just going to sell my makeup desk and my mirror and the acrylic storage. And I'll just buy new ones because that's just going to be such a hassle. Honestly, oh, it's going to take so long. I think I'm going to take that painting and maybe the lamp because I like them. So, it's now the next day. For dinner, I had a Gold Coast Keto pizza. I literally forgot to vlog because I was editing my P.O. Box unboxing all last night. So, you know how my car... Well, my car ended up getting towed yesterday because they just couldn't figure out how to start it. They tried jump-starting it. Um, like, it had nothing to do with the keys. I think it's something to do with, like, the actual technical side of my car. Like not the motor or the battery it's probably like an electrical issue anyways um so my kit's in my boot so i'm off to go and get it because i fucking need it 
Oh, I literally like, I cleared out my whole car and I just completely forgot. So I'm in mum's car. She has the exact same car as me because I copied her. She literally got this and I drove it and I was like, oh my God, this is so nice. And then I bought one in white. I was in like a space, like a gray color. So yeah, thanks mum. She just happens to be in Sydney this weekend, so it worked out well. Um, I was gonna, like, I was meant to go get my grandma's car, but it's so old and it's like a really old Mercedes. And like the, the gear stick is like near the indicator, so knowing me, I would fucking put it in park when I'm on the highway. I literally went there, but I just wasn't confident driving it. So I was like, mom, I just borrow yours. Um, so yeah, I'm off to the dealership now, so fingers crossed. They said they open at 8 and it's like almost 8. So fingers crossed. Oh, it's raining. Fingers crossed they can just give it to me without any hassles. Oh, okay. Gotta go. I got it! She's like, oh my god, that's an awfully big makeup bag. Dude, it's not even big. Like, I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> She's like, that's a huge makeup bag. And I was just thinking like, mm, what could I have at home? Anyways, I'm glad I've got it. Now I've got to go home and get ready for work. So I've just finished in the salon. I just did a little run through of um, my top favorite products. So I get asked all the time what products I use. I literally use the same products on like everyone. Um, I try to mix it up a little bit today and use like a different highlighter on everyone just so I kept the video a bit more interesting, but I use the same foundation, same base, same bronzer, same all that. But I, I feel like when you are so in love with a product and you find it works well on most people's skin, like that's all you want to use. Hey guys, so I'm finally home from a really busy day at work. I just went and had a shower, washed my hair and put a fresh tan on. I just shared my little story from today on my Instagram story. I didn't mention like in the vlog that as soon as I got to the dealership, all the lights were like off. Like it looked like it was closed and no one was in there. And like, I was like stressing out cause like I needed my makeup kit. And for those that were wondering like, why the fuck would I need a kit? I did like, I don't think I explained it properly, but I had work today and I needed my makeup kit, which was in my car at the dealership. So that's why I had to go back there. Sorry, I, th I should have explained it way better. Anyways, I get to the dealership at like eight o'clock when it opens and there's no lights on anywhere, like no one's around. And I'm like, well, fuck, like I'm gonna have to pull a freaking makeup kit out my ass if I can't get my kit out of my car. Anyways, this really random lady just started walking past in uniform. I don't know if she was working. I don't know if she was there like out of hours, but she managed to get the key from my car and give it to me so I could get my kit out of my boot and I was so fucking thankful. Anyways, so that was all good. Got my kit, I'm all happy. I come home and have a uh, like a coffee and I get ready for work. And then I get to work and once again, there's no lights on anywhere. Usually there is others in the salon, but there was no one in there. Um, probably just cause they weren't working today, but I know I'm just so used to like lights being on everywhere. Anyways, so I get to the door and I go to unlock it and I realize something looks different. Like my key wouldn't fit into the lock. Like it wouldn't unlock. And I was like, what the fuck? They've changed the lock. And I'm was so confused because the owner didn't tell me recently. They may have told me like months ago, but I haven't actually been in the salon for like two or so months i just and i i don't know just complete i completely forgot that they even told me so yeah i'm trying to open this door and then once again out of nowhere some random man in uniform there's no cars in the parking lot just goes oh by the way the power in that building's out and i was like what my heart dropped i'm just thinking cool can't get into my salon there's no power like am i going to be doing my clients like on the side of the road here like that literally what was running through my head and i was thinking well shit i'm gonna have to organize for my clients to come to my house I, like i literally didn't know what to do 
Anyway, so there's like two locks on the on the glass door to open the salon. I had the keys for the the top lock, and I also will obviously didn't have the new keys. But I was like, okay, let's just let's just see if there's any magical chance of the door opening if I just unlock the top. So I did, and it opened, which meant like someone actually forgot to lock the second lock, which is kind of bad. Thankfully, it worked in my favor. So I got into the salon, and obviously because there's no power, all I did was just, I pulled up all the blinds and just let all the natural light come in, but because it was a gloomy day, like it was storming, like there wasn't that much light to come into the salon. So I found it really hard. My first client came and I was like, I'm so sorry, like the power's gone out. So I basically had to do half her makeup in the dark. It wasn't like in the dark, I could still see her, but yeah, it was, it was very difficult at first. And then like, as I was finishing, the lights came on and I was like, oh yay, now I can like see properly and fix the stuff that I, you know, wanted to fix and whatever. But no, it was actually all right. And then, today just ran smoothly. All my clients were amazing. They did get similar looks, but um, I feel like everyone just gets that sort of look when it comes to formals, like gold, browns, bronzy, smoky eyes. So yeah, I just had the other half of my pizza. I forgot to vlog because the memory card was in my laptop and I was lazy. Um, I think for dinner, I'm gonna have my eye fillet that I got yesterday. I just got an eye fillet steak from Coles and maybe a egg stuffed capsicum. And yeah, I'm just editing my salon vlog at the moment. And tomorrow I, I think I mentioned it already, I'm modeling for a makeup masterclass in Tweed Heads here on the Gold Coast or is it New South Wales? I always get confused. And Riley gets back, I think tonight. So I might catch up with her tomorrow and have a look at her new house because she moved in well she moved to the gold coast not far from me i think like 10 minutes from me so maybe help her unpack or if she needs help with moving or whatever but yeah that's my plans for tomorrow probably just gonna stay in and watch some netflix um but yeah i will chat to you guys tomorrow okay so i made my dinner my main meal for today, I've got some eye fillet steak, the egg and cream cheese stuffed capsicum, and some avocado and tomatoes. How like nice and fresh does this look? Yum. Good morning guys, it is now the next day Sunday. I just got ready for the masterclass. So obviously I don't have any makeup on because that's Cherie's job. I did my hair like I did in my last Instagram photo. I just love this kind of style. I did a little tutorial on it. Well, I filmed it for TikTok, but I'll probably put it on my stories. Anyway, I have to wear something strapless because she um, <clears throat> will highlight my collarbones. Literally got this dress when I was like 18. And it's just one of those dresses that always fits. I don't know, it's like that slinky material. It's really cute though. Um, so yeah, I have to leave soon. I just had a coffee. And then I'm waiting to hear back from Riley. I'm not sure if she's moving today or not because she just got back from Bali yesterday. So she's probably like so tired. Um, oh fuck, I forgot to put moisturizer on. <laughs> probably do that now. Um, but yeah, I will obviously show you guys what the makeup looks like after she's done. But I think she's gonna do like a pinky burgundy look. So I just finished the masterclass. Oh my God, the eyes are so pretty. I'm just thrown off by the the cream in the waterline like I don't feel like that suits me because I just never do it and I never end my eyeshadow there but the blend though um, I just went to Woolies and got some no shoe donuts because I don't really live near a close by Woolies I'm a Coles gal so I just took advantage while I was in the center and got a few of them I tried to find the macro bread but I couldn't find it which was a bit annoying I they didn't even have the tags for it so I'm not even sure if they have it in that store but I might go to another Woolies and see if they have it. Um, I did like it enough to repurchase purely, what is happening here? Purely because it is low calorie compared to the Audi one. Like two slices is 250 cals. Like that is a bit ridiculous. And I think 
the macro one is like 150 or 160 literally like a hundred cows less but I'm gonna go home take my makeup off I might even go to the gym because I haven't been like all weekend but I'm not sure yet I'm still pretty tired it's two o'clock I still haven't had my first meal so I might go home and have something little to eat um, and just relax so yeah all right, so I'm going to Riley's and I'm gonna bring her this massive box of Atkins because I honestly just won't go through it all. Um, they Atkins sent me this like months ago and I'm just not even gonna get around to like eating them all, um, especially because I'm leaving. So I'm gonna surprise her with this and I'm gonna make her some keto treats. I'll probably just make some with the VitaWorks white chocolate and coconut oil maybe some banana protein and then lint chocolate i think that's all um i have anyways to make treats so yeah i'm gonna melt some of this down add some mct oil powder but i've made them in my vlog so many times and then that's the first layer and then the second layer will be um the caramel which i'll make with the white chocolate and then the third layer what was the third layer that i put on I can't remember, maybe it's just two layers. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, I think it is just the two layers, but I'm, oh no, the top layer is coconut oil. Yeah, I'm gonna make that for her and Vita because they're obsessed with them because last time they came over, I made some of them and they were loving it. So I'm gonna make that for them and then head over. All right, so I've just melted down a block of 90% lint chocolate. I've got a tablespoon of coconut oil. Then I just added two scoops of the Noe banana protein. Mix it on very low heat. Mine's just on one, which is the lowest. Wait for that all to melt. And that'll be my bottom layer of the chocolates. I get these, ooh, I get these from Wish. My chocolate mold. I'm gonna make a toasted sandwich with the Aldi bread. Just a cheese and ham. So, actually I might put every mite on there as well, yum. Um, so yeah, I've got ham and some cheese and then, yes, I found it, the every mite. It's basically like Vegemite, but it's a no gluten, no soy, no yeast, grains, nuts, and dairy. So it's the healthy version of, um, Vegemite. So I'm going to put that on and then put it in my little, um, toasty maker. Just made a ham and cheese and every mite toasty. Mmm. Yum. I'm just waiting on the first layer to set. Oh, that's really hot. And then I'll start melting down the VitaWorks white chocolate to make the caramel. All right, I've just made my caramel and this is what it should look like. I just melted the white chocolate and then I added like 10 mils of water and I put a block of, oh, I'm watching stories. Um, and then I put a block I like a little block of the 90% lint chocolate just to give it that deep caramel color. Otherwise it would just be like a, a white. And then I'm just gonna pour these into the mop. This bit is so satisfying. Oh my God. I feel like I maybe should have made a little bit more caramel. That's all good. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but holy shit. How good does this look? Yum. Okay, I'm going to put that back in the freezer and I'm just going to um, melt down one more block just for these two little ones. Okay, so the final layer I have put, well, I've just literally melted the rest of my coconut oil and then a scoop of this MCT oil powder. And then I'm just going to use this dropper and just put like a thin layer on top just so it all holds into place because this is quite gooey. Just until it fills like that. doesn't really matter about that. It was on an angle in the um, freezer. But I'm just going to fill the top and then put it back in the freezer. All right, I finished the treats for Riley. They didn't really work that well just because I didn't have enough time to set everything. But this is what they look like. How yummy. The gooey caramel is amazing. Jess has just come over and look what she's bought us as like a fucking housewarming. 
and Vader's like actually dying because like <laughs> just by all of our favorite stuff it's like Christmas. Yeah. Good morning, guys. I just rocked up to F45. It's my first session in like two months. I haven't been to F45 since before I left to Perth weeks ago, so I'm going to die. Um, and then I'm going to cryo with Riley, and then we're going to lunch at that Karma Pod. I always say it wrong. Everyone always corrects me, but that place in Brickworks, that's like a vegan, plant-based cafe that i love and i'm not gonna be keto i don't think i think i'm gonna have an acai bowl and treat myself so i'm super excited for that i'm running late so i will catch you guys later wow crank that shit up why oh, is it on 24 that was literally so hard oh my god it was abacus which was like minimal equipment pretty much Except John filmed it for me, so I'll be uploading a little video on the gram. I'm off to go get Riley, and then I'm going to go get do cryo. Oh my god. And then we're going to go furniture shopping for both of our houses. Well, not for me, but I just want to have a look. Because obviously we have the same stuff in Perth. So yeah, I will update you guys later. So I literally just did my makeup with Riley's makeup. Just had a shower, got into some more active wear. This is Riley's room at the moment. Cute. I'm sure she'll do a house tour. But yeah, we're off to cryo now. Riley's trying so hard not to shit her pants. Nah, I'm not well. She's got a parasite from she's got a parasite from Bali allegedly. <laughs> what is that? I don't, I don't know. know. All I know is I'm not well. So hopefully I don't shit myself in the chamber. Surely not. You go first then, even though it's not going to be as cold. Oh yeah, I was yeah. going first. Because you're like used to it. I haven't no. done it in like two months, so see ya. Is <laughs> it? 115. Shit, that's oh a record. Bye. Gosh. See ya. Oh my god. <laughs> Get it, girl. Fuck you guys. So when I go to Starbucks, I order a iced Americano with sugar-free vanilla and then some pouring cream. I got one for me and Riley. Yum. Good morning, guys. I just got back from my very first PT session with Mia and she absolutely killed me. Like I burnt like 450 calories. I just went to the post office and I got some stuff. I'll go have a quick shower, make a protein shake and unbox it for you guys. I think this is my Princess Polly order. Yep, I've got a problem. Um, oh, this is my Elite Subs order. I'm pretty sure it's the white chocolate, um, the VitaWorks white chocolate macadamia. Yum. Oh, that's my key. But I'll unbox that for you guys later. But yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower and have a quick protein shake. So I just made my protein shake. I used the No Way Protein and I didn't realize I don't have any more chocolate MCT oil powder which is what I normally mix in. I do have the salted caramel one but I wanted a chopped banana protein shake so I'm gonna have to order some more chocolate or I left it at Peter's because I'm pretty sure I have a full tub of this. It's probably in Perth. Um, <clears throat> so I had this I forgot that I had so it's just like a chocolate um, keto collagen powder and I mix that in with that and I mixed a bit of glutamine for muscle recovery and that is what made this oh my god i look like a drowned rat <coughs> i've got like a bit of a cough as well it's weird i still have like boxes that i need to take down to the bin okay let's open my elite sucks order Ooh, yes they sent me a whole fucking box yes 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 okay so these are the new white chocolate macadamias i am obsessed with the chocolate macadamias oh by the way i haven't shown you guys my nails i don't think yes i love them so much anyway these are the white chocolate um protein macadamias macros are pretty much the same they just have a little bit more carbs per serving so this is 4.5 grams of carbs but yum i always have 
an open pack of the milk chocolate ones in my fridge just to like snack on or I have like one or two a day like as a little sweet treat um but yeah yum they've also sent out some oh my god I actually love this brand of protein bar it's probably one of the cleanest ingredient protein bars I've ever come across so that's what it looks like this one's in the flavor raspberry white chocolate yum macros are pretty good um 183 calories, 1.1 carbs, fat 8.4. It's in the flavor, yeah, raspberry white chocolate. It says low fat, low carb, no added sugar, gluten free, soy free. So they sent me a whole bloody case of those. Thank you so much. Um, I actually haven't tried that flavor. I would say my favorite flavor is the salted caramel. It's so nice if you put it in the fridge because it. It's like hard and chewy and it just makes the bar last longer when it's really hard. So I'll be putting some of those in the fridge, but I'll let you guys know how that flavor goes. Um, and that just sent me a sample of the Ice Away Zero. Actually, Peter drinks this one. Um, wait, protein drink powder with sweeteners. So this one is pineapple mango. Awesome. I also got these yesterday, um, but... I don't think I've vlogged. It's just the new um, Huda Beauty Nudes palette. How pretty. How awesome for traveling, I reckon. They're so nice and compact. And then she released some more lipsticks. I'll just show you guys the colors, but they're like right up my alley. They're super gorgeous. So thank you, Huda Beauty. They're all in here. So nice. Mum's already stolen one. Bonjour Australian babes, we're beyond excited to have launched Jouer Cosmetics on Mecca.com. Oh my god, you know I've never tried Jouer before. Wow, I've always wanted to try it because they're an American brand. Whoa, thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Apparently their highlighter is just incredible. So I've got an eyeshadow palette, lip gloss, lip cream and essential lip liner i'll show you guys okay this is whoa whoa okay oh my god okay let's have a look i'm being a bit dramatic let's be real oh that's stunning look at that i always see like american youtubers use like this highlighter whoa <gasps> look at it if I had a ring light right now, you'd be able to see it so much nicer. Wow, I cannot wait to try. Thank you so much, Mecca. Fuck, I love Mecca so much. That's super cool that Mecca's getting amazing American brands. That's the bronzing duo. Very pretty. Gosh, I'm so excited to see what the hype about Jouer is now. This is their Tan Lines palette. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. Love that. Let's try it. I don't have anything on my lips. Well, that feels really nice and it smells good too. I freaking love lip balms. I'm obsessed. This is a lip gloss, high pigment shine lip gloss. I think this is what everyone raves about. Whoa, that's really pretty. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. Whoa, it's like a reflected pink and brown. Oh, what's this? BH Lashes. Is that the same thing as BH Cosmetics? They're actually really cute. Nice and fluffy and full, but without a thick band. I love these. I'll definitely have to use some of them in my upcoming makeovers. Oh, this one's nice. Okay, that no joke took me like five minutes to take that wrap off. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. How cute. They've sent me a mini shape tape. Okay, my battery literally just died. Um, Yeah, they sent me a mini concealer. Oh my God, now this battery's almost dead. Fuck my life. Okay little mini concealer and this is the normal one so great for traveling that is so freaking cute i can't even deal with that thank you so much 
Okay, my battery died for the third time. So I've just had a break, charged up my battery, and I'll just show you guys the next two parcels. I've already opened them. I think it cut off when I was showing you guys the Be Perfect Cosmetics clientele palette. I was going to order this, but how freaking gorgeous. Definitely an essential to have in a makeup kit. It's got all the colors that I would typically use on clients. Some metallic, some shimmers. It's just incredible. Well done, Jar. Fenty Beauty have sent me their holiday collection. Oh my God. So I'm obsessed with their lip glosses. And this is a, a mini gloss bomb collection. This would be like the perfect gift to give someone. Look at that. This is definitely my favorite gloss. It's called Fussy. I wear it all the time. It's just the most amazing gloss. Like to put over the top of liquid lipsticks or lipsticks or even using it on its own with just a lip liner. Definitely my favorite. And I love how it's mini so it can just fit into your purse. And then those are the other colors as well. Definitely such a great um, gift idea. Um, and then they have another lip gloss set. So this is their um, mini lip and face set. So you get a mini highlighter and a mini lipstick, which is super cute. I love like Christmas holiday sets. This is their lip sunner paint, but they've like made it. Oh, okay. That just broke. They've obviously made it so you can put it on the tree. I think maybe not. I don't know. That just broke though. <laughs> but yeah, like a little like tree decoration. Um, and then this is her mini body lava. So she has full size ones of this, but this is just the mini version, which is super nice over the collarbone and chest area. Um, I sometimes use this on my clients when they want a really illuminated um, decolletage. So thank you so much Fenty for sending that through. Now I just have more to add to the list that I need to take down with me, but that's fine. Um, I need to film a video for Princess Polly today. I ordered a few things, um, so I'll be doing that. And I was going to go to lunch with Riley yesterday. Remember how I said we're going to that Karma Pod in Brickworks? We'll reschedule that to today, but because my Princess Polly order arrived, I've got to get that video done. And then, yeah, I've got a little bit of work to do. I need to catch up on my emails and stuff like that, but we've rescheduled that to tomorrow. Um, and she's just a bit busy today anyway, so it would have been a little bit chaotic. Um, so yeah, that's all the mail that I got today. So I just filmed a clothing haul for my IGTV on my makeup account. And this is one of the pieces that I got. How cute is it? I don't usually like order a lot of um, like evening wear, going out clothes. I'd always just rather live in like a crop or a oversized t-shirt. I never really wear jumpsuits, but this one's really cute. I'm going to go to Riley's because she wants to have lunch with me, but I don't know what to bring over. I don't think she has much food yet, but I do have, oh my God, my house is literally a mess. I do have this cheesy pizza that I might bring over for her because it's vegetarian from Gold Coast Keto. And then I might just Bring one of my frozen meals i'm not too sure why am i puffed from trying on clothes like anyone else <sighs> um anyways i did some like faux freckles as well just with like a brow pencil kind of cute um yeah i'm gonna go to riley's and i'll bring my vlog camera nothing else to update you guys on i just need to clean my fucking apartment it's such a mess but every time i come home i just do everything and just leave it all and then i've got to freaking devote a day to freaking clean when i could just be doing it as i go um but yeah i will chat to you guys later cool thank you so much you too so we have to actually assemble Sweet. it we have to assemble it Mine came already done. I thought done. it was just going to be like out of the box. Yeah. Oh, um, here we go. Yeah, but it's huge. Oh. What are we going to do? Well, let's let's do the smallest okay. one first. Update. <laughs> Literally. We thought it was going to come assembled. Okay, let's do the small section. How do you know what's small? Because this is the cut off and that's the main. Or should we do the main and then the small? I just don't even know. Okay. Well, uh, oh. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Check the nest. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Same rat. Maybe to actually 
Okay. Well, 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 it's not the cat. That's not the lidge. It That's is. The, no. No, it's not. The lidge doesn't have an edge. Does it? Yes, it does. This. Oh, thing. yeah, because that's that way. Okay, ready to lift? We lift it up. Yep. Sure not. Well, there's blocks underneath it. Whoop! <laughs> I should lift it on its side and put the things on it. The legs. Yeah. doesn't have legs. Okay, so Ooh. you reckon there's a screwdriver? Surely they have. They comes with it. No, it doesn't. What? So you I've need? I've got one. Oh, we'll go get. Go get one then. What's yeah. this? Screws. That's just the feet. Okay. And that's the thing to help it go in. Okay. Well, we need to flip this that way. And what? I just go on these holes. Yeah. Like that. How many of those do you have? You. You. That doesn't stay on. That's just to help you. Okay. Is it? Can you feel it? I think it is. Hang on. It's just... I'm actually swimming. No. No. It's not like near it. That's not to help. There's no such thing. Fuck. What's that for? What's this for? It's on the instructions. Look. Absolutely. It helps you put the fucking things in. <laughs> you need help. <laughs> Honestly, you're not right. It helps you. Help. Helps with what? We've done it. It actually looks cold. Yeah, it is. Look at my Apple Watch. Oh, 170 God. calories in 24 minutes. That's not bad. That's good. So I'll be having one of those good. macadamia chocolates. Surely. Yeah, oh, no, God. that's nice. So you just need a little, co you just need a little coffee table. Yeah, I've Something bought small. It. It's only like, oh yeah, wide. nice. Right. So I'm back home now. I've taken my eyelashes off in the car. But thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm just going to end this vlog here because I'll continue vlogging tomorrow for next week's vlog. I think I'm just going to make some lettuce cups with some mints for dinner. But thank you guys so much for watching. Why does it go out of focus? Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You are fool's girl. Oh my God. Yes, I did.